I'll let you get yourself strapped in before I come in. I didn't realise they were having that extension put on. No, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's a right turn out here away from the village, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Two seven zero. Until you get to the railway line. So what sort of rate of climb did you get? What, there? Yeah. Oh, I wasn't, I don't know, I was only doing about 800 feet a minute. Yeah. I wasn't claiming it. We're cruise climbing at the moment, we're going up at 500 feet a minute. <laughs> Amazing. Be interesting to see what's happening to those clouds. Yeah. There's somebody there now. That looked like Bob's truck. Yeah. That's 3,000 feet per minute climb lock. Yeah. Excellent. I think I'd be slightly worried with those roundabouts with spurs going off in the direction that they are because they're obviously going to build, aren't they? Yep. We're getting a couple now, aren't we? Yeah. I see these little puffy clouds. They're right at the right height for them. Yeah. I did point it out, but as we were going in the land at Old Buck, there were there was a a, a herd of deer in, in the field next door. They were up against the hedge. Strange that we don't have our deer to contend with now. How what? <laughs> our deer. All right. We don't have to worry about. Our runway being clear of venison. Ah, uh, they've all been budgeted. Yeah.
smoker. I didn't realise that uh, uh, that place. Oh, what I think he, said, he just said uh, the place where Nicky flies from. You know what I mean? Got Maypole, Green yeah. Horse Traffic. This is Golf Charlie Charlie Whiskey Zulu positioning for crosswind joint at 27, about a mile to run. Well, they're restricted to 10, 10 flights a day. I didn't know that. No, well, that Alan yeah. uh, asked me to try and get some of their flights. Oh, for 24, I think. So, um, you know, for, for that fly in there, yeah. they got no chance. I think the thing I noticed most about this is the fact that you know, I'm poodling along at 90, 95 knots. You throttle back, you come back into land, sort of approach at 70, and you're over the hedge at 60. Whereas, you know, we've been flying along at 160 knots. Now, suddenly, I don't know what we're doing, but it seems like we're standing still. Yeah, we're doing 80, well, 70 knots we're doing, actually. Yeah. That is the thing that you have to get used to with it. Tom Farm traffic, Golf Echo Romeo. You feel Tom you're going to run me two four Tom Farm. You, you feel that you're going to stall. There, up there, for you put a bit on for Mum. Bring traffic off, Charlie. Charlie, we should do this at final two seven. They're doing seventy knots now. Yeah. What would the champ give to do seventy knots? Yeah. But I would have said that some, from sensation wise, you know, it seems as if we're doing about 50. Yeah. High and fast. Believe it or not. Yeah. Nice, thank you very much. Hello, what's Tony doing? I don't know. Whatever he's doing, he's doing it outside my hangar. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that was very enjoyable. And it was nice to think you were able to sort that out for Rob.
okay. That does sound a little bit on the harsh side, so I'll turn it down. But maybe the 40 decibel reducer will do its job. Okay. Put the green hat on and the sunglasses. Because it's going to be a very sort of misty, yucky sort of day. I haven't got the camera on the front here. Because it's not going to be a very good visibility out. But what I am doing, I am experimenting with that one on the back there. But having said that, now we've got power running. Now when I came back from um, Shuttleworth, from Old Warden, somehow or other I managed to press that. And instead of filming, it just did one sort of short, short burst. I put the air conditioning on. I got a. We come across here to the windsock in order to do power checks. But it's a bit like crossing the Himalayas at the moment with all these rabbit holes. I did find out that if you press the radio, you actually got the pressure setting as it stands at a recent number. So I've got a pressure setting there in 1027, which is probably about right. I say that in as much as it's indicating 210 feet, but we know that on the top of the hill here, it's actually 180. Uh, take it up to 1700, one mag, the other mag, go up, drop, slow running, back up to 1500, the alternator circuit, fail, and back in. Thing overhead. I've left the hangar doors open because this is going to be just a very short flight. I wanted to test my headset back in my aircraft. I know I tested it in John's. Um, the strange thing was using that other cable that uh, directly did the sound onto the GoPro, it did actually mean that I'd only got it in one ear, which worried me a little bit, but it's working now absolutely fine. Bit of a crack there though, but uh, we'll see what happens when I put some power on. Uh, master is on, we're going to give the I'll be a little bit of a burst, mixture is rich, Cabinito is cold, fuel pump is on, uh, magnetos are on both. I've got front tank and plenty of fuel. Everything's working the way that it should do. So we're ready to go. I can go back in. Nailing traffic, go for Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel, rolling nailing traffic. Line up on the trees. Straight down the runway, there we go. As I thought, quite murky out. Turning left. Clear of the village. When I get back on the ground, I'm going to just play with that uh, trick and 
bring up the um, side tire. It's okay on intercom, but uh, when you're transmitting, you don't get anything back in your ears, which is, I find, a bit disconcerting. I'm just going to pull the car out. I'm coming towards the overhead. I could fly around, it's very nice, it's very calm, but I don't know whether the squadron is talking about... <laughs> I said about it being very calm and it was suddenly now going a little bit all over the place. But I don't know whether the squadron is talking about going anywhere tomorrow. It was very nice to do that four ship to um, Old Ward. So I'll probably save my, my petrol and bring it back into land. I'm not sure whether this bit of video is going to go on the back of the return from Old Buck. Try not to pull any funny expressions. I still do that stupid thing with my mouth on the microphone as well. Anyway, concentrate on the landing. 